Stop buying granola bars when you can make them at home. I've got a recipe that only calls for five ingredients and it sure beats these 20. These granola bars start with simple ingredients, all of which you can pronounce. This is a great base recipe that you can kind of customize to make your own. It starts by toasting up some rolled oats and coconut. Just spread it out on a sheet pan. You can mix the two together. And then we're just gonna bake this at 325 degrees just for about eight to 10 minutes, just to lightly toast them up. If you don't like coconut, you can just leave it out and stick to the oats. It's such a small amount, it blends right into the oats. Let's toast it up. You've gotta have something to hold the oats and coconut together, so I'm making a mixture of honey and peanut butter. This is one of my favorite combinations. You can use whatever sweetener you like, maybe maple syrup, and you can use another nut butter if you want something other than peanut butter. Almond butter would be a great sub here. A little bit of vanilla extract, and then a pinch of salt. Just gonna cook that over low until it all just comes together in a uniform mixture. This takes very little time and you can also do this in the microwave. This is a great recipe if your kids wanna help and they'll say, oh yeah, my granola bars taste better than what comes in the box. Oh, it smells so good. And then we just bring the two together. The oats and coconut have toasted a little bit. You're not trying to really achieve much color because we're gonna bake it again. You just wanna kinda wake it up, start to release some of their aroma. Once you've transferred your oats and coconut to a bowl, you'll pour over our delicious peanut butter honey mixture. You wanna be sure all of the oats and coconut are coated evenly so you don't have any big dry clumps. Now for the make it your own part. At this point, you can leave it just as is and they'll be perfectly delicious. Or you can stir in what my kids love in their granola bars some chocolate chips. You could also do some dried cranberries or raisins. You know, we don't want to get too healthy. And then you're just going to spread this mixture out into a nine by nine baking dish. I've lightly coated it with some coconut spray. You can use whatever sort of cooking spray you want or even butter. And then we're just going to spread these out in an even layer. That's it. You just want to spread it out evenly. Got some Chocolate kind of melted throughout. If you go through granola bars like we do in my house, you might want to double or triple this recipe so that you can just make a bulk batch all at once. Kids can grab and go. I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 325 degrees. If you like your granola bars a little on the chewy side, you'll want to go about eight to 10 minutes. If you like them on the crunchy side, go about 15 minutes. Then you're just gonna let them cool completely. Our one giant granola bar has cooked and cooled, and now we're gonna cut it into whatever desired size of granola bar you like. I'm gonna keep it kinda like what you get in the box, something small. The more these cool, the more they'll hold together. You can store them in airtight containers just layered between some parchment or wax paper, or just to make them a little more fun or lunchbox friendly, you can just wrap them in individual pieces of parchment or wax paper. My kids are more likely to eat them if they're individually packaged. They high maintenance. For the price, you can buy one box of granola bars. You could make at least 20 of these. I would definitely double or triple this recipe if you're gonna whip up a batch of these. These do taste really, really good. I love the addition of the chocolate. I was a little skeptical because my kids aren't huge coconut fans, but it's just dispersed throughout the oats to make it just delightfully chewy. You're really gonna save yourself a lot of money and you'll save your kids from that sugar high. I hope you'll give this recipe a try this school year. See you next time. And it's got about 20 ingredients. You choose.